is that is enough. I, I can't possibly be connected. Oh, well, Mr. Schneider, you can't quit, they said. Well, I says, yes, I can. I'm an individual, I'm going to quit, and uh, I'm walking off the job. And he says, so I got arrested and casually told, well, you, you got to finish a job. And so I, I caved into that part, and I finished three weeks, and then I, uh, uh, at that time my father was dying, and uh, I was allowed home, and uh, I never went back for my paychecks. Um, don't intend to either. These people are beginning to show signs of being our utmost enemy. I'm talking about military people now engaged in training foreign troops on American soil, clearly against the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution. It's, it's, it's why we formed a government, why our forefathers formed a government, a republic, of these United States in the first place, way back 200 plus years ago. Because the drawing and quartering of soldiers, uh, taxation without representation, law by edict, otherwise known as today's version, uh, executive order, among other things. The very reasons that we became, in quote, free, a free republic, a free society, possibly one of the greatest nations to ever uh, be a nation on this earth um, were instilled in our founding fathers that are now so far away from uh, uh, the people now running our federal government structure. So I'm here today to touch upon a number of subjects. Uh, one being that these underground bases are uh, roughly uh, uh, over three of them per state. There's now, instead of 12 prison camps, there's 39. That's almost one per state. Um, they're building two prison camps every seven, seven months. They're building two underground uh, military bases every year. Each one of these military bases, by the way, these underground military bases, they cost somewhere between 17 and 26 billion dollars, billion dollars. They employ 1,800 to 10,000 workers each in varying grades of uh, skill. They uh, uh, gobble up uh, uh, totally through the black budget, over one quarter of the black budget, or roughly uh, 310 billion dollars. Of course, you may say, you know, where are these figures coming from? Well, the black budget, as we know it, in quote, black projects, uh, which uh, anything called black um, is significant of hidden, uh, hidden from uh, Congress, hidden from the American people, and very few people are even in the know about it at all. But black budget uh, per year garners over $500 billion a year. And it's uh, uh, these kind of huge quantities and sums of monies are garnered through uh, CIA drug activity, uh, National Security Agency uh, 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 clandestine uh, operations, uh, mostly in Panama and South America. Uh, uh, now also engaged in Russia in uh, in uh, um, in bringing and refining uh, strategic metals. By the way, you might want to ask, where is all these uh, kind of interesting uh, new metals coming from? Over here on the white board, we have the new periodic table. It's got 140 elements. Now, in our high schools of today, I was in a high school about a week ago, I saw a new periodic table had 105 elements on it. Now, somewhere, we're not being told the truth. We're being lied to at every turn and every corner. We're considered less than morons, morons. Uh, so the government has uh, made itself an entity, an independent taxing body, an entity into itself, and does, isn't accountable to anybody, not even the so-called New World Order. Uh, they, they just go ahead and do uh, everything willy-nilly as they please. There's nobody checking. Don't have to worry about this. Occasionally, there's a senator who pokes a nose in here and there, and 
and that senator finds out uh, uh, either nicely or not so nicely uh, that uh, you don't do things like that. Now, um, if we're to gain a grip on our country, if we're to take our country back, we must first ask our public officials if they cannot tell us the truth and uh, we will impeach them or they will be impeached or they will be tried as traitors. This is pretty stiff language. Uh, already it's uh, slowly beginning to trickle out and to occur to a number of people that this may be the only way out. And also our founding fathers, uh, George Washington, Patrick Henry and a, a few of the other ones uh, came up and said that uh, and you don't want to let the beast out of the box. And they were talking about a runaway government. You don't want to allow your government to become like England at that time. And, uh, and so uh, they warned us about this very same kind of thing. First of all, the United States is not a democracy. It's not a republic anymore. It should be a republic. That's to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Why, you, why we can't even pray in the public schools anymore. We have to have a Supreme Court judge or group of them, plus uh, Janet Reno and company, among other things, uh, telling us uh, what to do. Uh, interpret for us as if we cannot read with our own two eyes and understand with our mind. Uh, this, of course, is bad policy all the way around. And uh, uh, we, I guess I don't need to blow that by your ears. Okay, on another subject, I have a number of items up here at the table. Uh, one of which here is, uh, an, if I can show it, is a heavy hunk of rock indeed. It uh, has a weight of about uh, a little bit more than a pound, two and a half times the weight of uranium. It's not radioactive, can never be made radioactive. It's composed of, of earth, rare earth, clays, and powdered metals, as well as alien element, an alien element, uh, uh, mostly from crashed, retrieved uh, flying saucers and those the kind that have happenstance to crash in our deserts and backyards, so to speak. It's called Miranite. Well, this is employed in every stealth aircraft, every black jet throughout the black budget. Also in the, uh, in the very small quantities in the skins of uh, black helicopters, Miranite. Here's another thing, here's a piece of uh, probably the purest titanium you'll ever hear or see. It's uh, so pure, it's also composed with uh, uh, other alien elements to make it extremely tough. It's capable of withstanding temperatures in excess of 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Our new Phoenix class submarines, of which we're building two a month right now. Phoenix class submarines is a black budget program. Each one of those submarines costing $208 million just for the titanium hull, which is made of this material. Approximately 10,000 pounds of it. Now, we've got supposedly, as of, as of the data right now, we've got 106 of these submarines. They're plying the waters and the waves. They can dive to a depth of over 7,000 feet and hold that for three months. It's a fantastic submarine indeed. It has 11 grid bed nuclear motors on it, engines that run everything, purify the air. And, uh, by the way, these aren't your usual um, nuclear uh, uh, motor installation. They're very small. They're probably no bigger than this podium, uh, weighing less than 3,000 pounds, putting out as much as uh, the equivalent of uh, three uh, aircraft carriers of the Enterprise class. But uh, these Phoenix-class submarines are getting this metal. Now, where are we getting the metal? Uh, well, yeah, it's being stockpiled in a number of strategic locations. Supposedly, uh, I've heard stories, well, it's being mined on the moon, and I have no way of proving that one way or another. Uh, I think we're probably getting it from Russia. 
Yeah, or and and or.